In this video, we're playing Generation Zero and we're testing the utility Game Save Monitor. This is not a mod, but a save file manager. Its purpose is to copy save files and avoid game save corruptions. It's a pretty simple setup. It's a single executable you can run manually or have it automatically back up while you're playing. Credit for this utility goes to the author, Sir Garnon. Let's get started. First, you'll want to click the link to the Nexus Mod page for this download. Go to the Files tab, click Download. And then download again. This is a WinZip file. Native Windows 10 should handle this natively. If you have an issue, I do have a link to WinRAR in the description. Please feel free to click that and download that application. Let's extract this out, open up the folder we've extracted, and you'll see the single executable savefilemonitor.exe. Let's run this. When it opens, it's going to ask you for some directory paths that you may or may not know. I have listed all of those directory paths in the description, so if you don't see them in the video, you can find them there. First one we're going to look for is our game.exe file. That's found in our program files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Generation Zero, of course, and then the executable Generation Zero underscore F dot exe. Next, we're going to look for the game save folder, which is in our documents folder under Avalanche Studios, Generation Zero, Saves, and some bunch of numbers. Next is going to be our Save Backup Path. I would simply created a save folder in my Downloads folder. You can put that folder anywhere you like, almost. And I'll tell you about that in the review. This does have a drop-down menu so you can tell it how often during gameplay you want to back up. I selected 20 minutes. Now we're going to test to make sure we can get good backups, and we did. Now all we have to do is click the Launch Game button, and it will back up your save file every 20 minutes to the directory of your choosing while you're playing. My review of this application, uh, all the things that I liked, one, uh, it's genius, simple, it works. There's some things I discovered that aren't necessary things I don't like about it. Um, you cannot make your backup directory within the documents folder. So you have to place your backup folder outside of documents like I did in my downloads. It simply will error out and will not let you uh, create backups if you put it in documents save. So put it in a new folder on the root of C or wherever else you like but it can't be in documents. The second thing I discovered is it does recursive backups which means that every folder in the save bunch of numbers folder it backs up every folder under that. So I have several profiles and testing of different things. So I have several folders there as well as my grandson has his save folder there. I've asked the author if he would put in a non-recursive option to the utility so you could only so for me all I wanted to do was back up the current save files, not everything in that directory. But other than that, it works great. That's it for today. I hope you like this utility. I hope you like the video. Have a great day. Thank you all for watching. Please remember at Lou the Picked on all social media. Please make sure you click the like, subscribe, and notification buttons so you don't miss out on any new content. Hope to see you soon.